I'm Quinn Emmett, and this is Important Not Important, science for people who give a shit. This newsletter features the most important science news, how to think about it, and what the hell you can do about it. You can get the newsletter as an email, in your favorite podcast player, or right here on YouTube. Subscribe literally everywhere you can. This week, are electric school buses coming to your neighborhood? How bad will COVID, the flu, and RSV be this winter? A new way to make drinking water from a very old source? How to improve America's maternal health tragedy? And Bumble doubles down on their no dick pics technology. It's Friday, October 28th, 2022. Let's go. In climate change news, 389 U.S. school districts across 50 states, Washington, D.C., and a swath of tribes and territories were awarded almost $1 billion this week by the Biden administration to buy almost 2,500 electric school buses. Here's how to understand it. When it comes to multi-solving, to making the 80-20 moves we need to build something entirely new, this is a big one. Electrifying school buses is a massive win, not just for the climate, but also for the health of millions of school children around the country who ride them, including in states where every single GOP policymaker voted against them. You're welcome. And the timing couldn't be better. We've made enormous progress, but in coming years, billions of children will still experience heat waves more often, and the race is on to cool these already hot red line neighborhoods. Next up, building a massively more robust, reliable and connected grid and training and hiring thousands, if not millions of workers to keep charging infrastructure up and running. Here's what we can do. Join our friends at Pod Save America or the Environmental Voter Project to call, text, and donate and vote for people who will continue to build the foundation for a healthier world for children everywhere. In COVID news, the potential for a Triple-demic sandwich grows more likely as the flu and RSV held in check by distancing and masks for a couple years, and COVID's uh, variants held in check by, well, some vaccines and now basically nothing, collide. Pediatric beds are already full in many cities. Here's how to understand it, like with COVID and however these variants work out. It's helpful to remember that even mild flu and RSV can keep kids home from school and thus parents home from work many of whom who don't even have paid leave or health insurance or either. Or worse, the lack of a safety net in America means sick kids do go to school or sick adults do go to work, infecting others whose immune response may not be so robust. This is not the circular economy that we've been talking about. This is the part where you ask, okay, but what the hell can I do about all that? Here's what we can do. If you lead or even work at a company with paid leave of any sort, please make it clear. Message everyone right now to stay home as much as necessary this season for them and their families. And if you don't or you do either way, again, join with our friends at Pod Save America and the Environmental Voter Project to call, text, donate, and then vote before November 8th for people who actually learn something from the pandemic and will implement America's first real safety net for everyone. In food and water news, as drought increases across the world in places it's not actually flooding, though of course some places check both boxes, it's just great, we need to find more and more reliable drinking water. That's where wastewater comes in. From a New York Times article about the aquifer I literally drink from every single day, homes and businesses in the Hampton Roads region in the southeastern corner of Virginia are drawing groundwater faster than it can be replenished. The situation has gotten so bad that the earth is sinking in some places. It's not as bad as where mega droughts are, but officials think they might have found a solution in the sewers. Every day, the region's sanitation system takes a million gallons of treated wastewater and pumps it back into the Potomac Aquifer, a major source of drinking water for the area. And there are plans to increase that to 100 million gallons in the coming years. Look, across the world, everything is coming up wastewater, and it's exciting. Colorado granted preliminary approval to direct potable reuse. Construction began on a new $55 million treatment project in Buffalo, New York. The EU is revisiting rules on urban wastewater to improve sanitation, reduce energy use, and build a more circular water system. Scientists have developed an easier and cheaper way to remove antibiotics from wastewater, multi-solving, and of course, again, analyzing wastewater is one of the best ways to understand local viral loads. Again, from the New York Times, one of the big advantages of wastewater is that there's always a reliable supply. Using it to recharge aquifers is a complex but effective way of accomplishing a basic goal, returning water to where it came from. Here's what we can do. 50 years after the Clean Water Act, racial disparities, this will surprise you, continue to plague the EPA and local water utilities. Clean water is a goddamn human right. Please join our friends at Pod Save America or the Environmental Voter Project or both to call, to text, to donate, and again to vote in the next couple weeks for people who have lived experiences that reflect reality 
and who will fight for a better, more equitable water health system. In health news, maternal health hasn't really ever been America's forte. Mirroring the legendary Onion headline, No Way to Prevent This, says only nation where this regularly happens, a recent CDC report shared by our friends at the 19th showed that 80% of the pregnancy-related deaths that occurred between 2017 and 2019 were preventable. But the factors are numerous and unsurprising to longtime readers or listeners or people from those communities. But I gained a much better understanding of them in my conversation with Representative Lauren Underwood. Among those, mental health, cardiovascular conditions, a lack of representation of black, brown, and indigenous people in medical profession or maternal care, racism, shorter appointments, you've probably experienced those, a lack of Medicaid expansion in red states, and even in states with Medicaid, a lack of qualified staff to tend to pregnant people in the first year after giving birth. One awesome solution, pass Representative Underwood's Momnibus Act. Another included there, drastically increase midwives and community health centers across the country. Midwives are skilled in out-of-hospital births, and those could be invaluable as, synergy, natural disasters rise thanks to climate change. Again from the 19th, midwifery, a profession that was made up of predominantly black women in the 1900s, is now overwhelmingly white at 85%. As long as the workforce remains that way, said Michelle Drew, a certified nurse midwife, historian and chair of the Caucus for Black Midwives for Reproductive Justice at the American College of Nurse Midwives, she's cautious about its potential impact for black people and other people of color. I get it. Here's what we can do. Read the Momnibus Act. It's incredible. And then join our friends at Pod Save America or the Environmental Voter Project to call, text, donate, and vote for people who understand all too well what it means to struggle for health care. In beep boot news, maybe you're among the 57% of women who feel harassed on dating apps, or the 76% of girls aged 12 to 18 who've said they've received unsolicited news, or maybe you're just a shit giver, or an open source data nerd, or all the above. In all cases, we here celebrate Bumble, open sourcing the delightfully named Private Detector, their two-year-old machine learning framework that screens match-to-match images for unwelcome dick pics. A reminder, folks, it's not the algorithm. It's the people who write them. It's called the alignment problem. When the same group that's been doing the in real life and or cyber flashing writes the rules, we get what we've got. We bring our blind spots and our biases to everything we do, from intentionally building highways to redlined cities in the 60s, to building machine learning tools in 2022 that deny women raises, black people mortgages, and democracies the votes they need to, you know keeping a democracy. So, from Bumble, we're extremely proud to release a version of the private detector, trademark, to the wider tech community with the hope of democratizing access to our technology and to help scientists and engineers experiencing the same challenges around the world to improve their approach to online safety. Huzzah! Here's what we can do. Bumble has actually contributed to a variety of state bills to ban this kind of bullshit, succeeding in places like Texas and Virginia. Use their easy tool to get your own state reps on board, and then, ding, 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 Join Pod Save America or the Environmental Voter Project to call, text, donate, and vote for people who, one, actually understand the internet, and two, will help build one that's safer for women, LGBTQ+, and children. A quick PSA. INI is 100% independent and mostly reader-supported. This newsletter is free, but to support our work, connect with other shit givers, and attend exclusive monthly live events, please consider becoming a paid member for just five bucks a month. Visit importantnotimportant.com slash membership to join us now. Here is 10 things from my notebook. Number one, how TikTok could swing the election and send us to the bad place. Number two, Saudi Arabia held a carbon offset auction. Sure, why not? I'm sure it was real. Number three, YouTube will let doctors and nurses apply to be labeled as reliable. Number four, Novartis will license their groundbreaking cancer drug to low and middle income countries. That is awesome. Number five, activist investment firm Engine Number One had a little talk with Coca Cola about recycling. Number six, I'm really excited to check out the Future Climate Venture Studio from Yukon, RGA Ventures, and CT Next uh, from Connecticut, supporting innovative climate tech startups that are working on mitigation, adaptation, and energy solutions. Number seven, CTAL will provide massive batteries to Vegas' new energy storage project. It's not what you think, it's actually just batteries. Number eight, England will try to be the first country to defeat HIV. Number nine, algorithm, probably why your rent has been so damn high. Number 10, finally, if Twitter dies this weekend because of Elon Musk, someone put together a thread of probably the greatest tweets of all time. It's in the show notes. It's wonderful. I hope you spend some time with it. It's like a celebration of life. That's the news for this week. 
hit subscribe to get next week's news and tips right when they drop. To go deeper, again, visit importantnotimportant.com. Thanks for being a part of our community, and thanks for giving a shit. Have a great weekend.